Today I'm going to go over how to fix tight hips and also on a side note I'm going to cover weak hips. So first we're going to do the kettlebell hip opener. This is a great stretch for your hips. The kettlebell adds some load to get some stretch in that groin. You're going to kneel, put one foot out to the side and you're going to lean into the stretch. You can hold it for five seconds and then relax and then repeat. You can do this five rounds of five seconds, something like that, whatever works for you. Next up, we're going to do the hip airplane. You can find a wall or something comfortable to put your hands on. Knees are going to be slightly bent. You're going to hinge at your waist and you're going to kick a leg back. And as you can see here, I'm turning, opening my hips and that leg that is still planted on the floor, you don't want to let it move inwards or extremely outwards. You want to keep it stable. This is a back view. You see that leg is relatively firm and then I'm opening my hip to the side here. You can do five to ten each side for a couple of rounds. That should work. Additionally, you can do the pigeon stretch. This is less dynamic than the first two stretches I showed. Um, you're going to get into this position here. This is a lateral view. You can hold this stretch for about 30 seconds to a minute or longer if you feel extra tight and you want to hold it for longer. You want to make sure you do both sides, of course. This stretch here is a little difficult for some, especially if you're tight, so you can see my back knees a little farther. But if you bring it closer to your other leg, it should be a good modification. You don't have to go all the way back, just within your range. This is the front facing view. You want your hips to be squared. As you can see, mine are straight onto the camera. You don't want to shift left to right. You want to keep everything head on. Moving on to hip stability or strength, we're going to do a side plank with a clamshell variation. So this forces one hip, so the, the, the bottom leg, to stabilize while the other leg is moving through load, so for strength. This will improve your hip stability, strength, and it's a good complement to the stretching we did before. This you can do a couple rounds of 10 reps. It's harder than it looks, if you think it looks hard, but yeah, it's a, it's a great exercise. Next up, we have banded squats. As you see, there's a, there's a band around my thighs. As you can see here, I'm forced to fight against the band, so you want to push out laterally. This will turn your glutes on, get your hips working. You want to go through a slow motion. As you can see, I can't quite go all the way down there. That's due to ankle mobility, which I'll cover in a future video. Um, from this front facing view, however, though, I'm going to be kicking my, my toes out a little bit, so I'm able to get lower, but that's not important for this video with the hip being turned on by the band is what's important. Last but not least, we have banded Y reaches or lateral taps, whatever you'd like to call it. This does a similar thing with the clamshells where one leg, this, so in this case my left leg has to stabilize or my hip, and then my right hip is moving through load. This is actually quite hard. I'm not the best at it, but you know it's a process and this is great for hip stability. That left leg, you don't want it to move inwards. You want to keep it stable as the opposite leg goes through the band. As you can see, I have one side that's actually worse and I'm sort of fighting through it right there you want to lightly tap this you can do five reps each side for a few rounds it doesn't take long for the muscle to get engaged here it's it looks simple but it's actually hard on your hips it's a great exercise to do so these six exercises slash stretches you can do on a daily basis if you're not too sore every other day should be good but if you, if you have knee pain or hip pain or, or back pain, any of the surrounding areas really will be benefited from doing these. It's a great overall trickle-down effect. If you have healthy hips, it goes a long way in having a healthy body.